For those of you that know the difference between surface mount and through-hole components, feel free to skip to about 2 minutes and 25 seconds of this video, otherwise keep watching for a crash course on both. We're all familiar with the LED component. We've seen the one that looks something like this with the wires poking out, which we call leads. This kind of component that has the pokey thingies or the leads is called a through-hole component or through-hole technology. Just as the name suggests, these components fit through holes in your PCB going through the board and they get soldered on the other side. Anything you use to prototype a circuit on a breadboard would technically be a through hole component or device. Now on circuit boards like an Arduino or a motherboard of your computer, you might see like small LEDs that look more like this, a box shape with no pokey thingies but instead with flat pads. Components with flat pads are called surface mount devices or surface mount technology. They're soldered onto the surface of your board, so directly onto pads that are specifically shaped to the component you're using, and that's called a footprint. Each component has its own footprint, and they all have special names depending on the size and configuration of the connections of the device, such as a D-Pack, an SOT, a T-SOP, a QFP, and so much more. Often in the surface mount, technology, you'll see those black boxes. The through-hole versions of those are called DIPs or dual inline packages and are called this because of their rectangular housing and the two parallel rows of electrical connecting pins. Anyway, all of that was just context for what I'm doing in this video, which is making my surface mount components breadboardable. This is so that I can test my circuit design on a breadboard, deconstruct it if I have to change anything, and easily kind of test the feedback between what I'll be coding on our ESP32. What I'm making is essentially called a breakout board for my components. So a breakout board is a board that makes it easier to connect to all of the pins on certain components like your surface mounted ICs or your sensors. Some breakout boards even have extra components such as like filtering capacitors or pull up or pull down resistors that are needed by the main component to have it run safely or properly. So you'll often like buy breakout boards for Arduino modules or even anything from Adafruit, they often sell breakout boards. Now back to the regular programming where I make my SMDs breadboardable using some breakout board PCBs I ordered off Amazon.